Sony CDP CE 500, five disc CD changer. He got this. Are you ready? At a garage sale for. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Are you ready for 35 big money bolos, items that you can hopefully find when you're outsourcing? These items come from my featured members from my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, and I'm going to share their bolos with you. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And some of these are going to surprise you. So let's get started. The first item was picked up by Random Chick vintage and she has got some really cool items down in her store that will be excuse me that will be linked in the description of the video and you will see youtube channels and ebay stores featured in this video all of those are linked down below so definitely go and check them out so that is her ebay store she's talking about doing a youtube channel so stay tuned and um, i'll link that down below too so sub her up so when she post her first video, you're there for it. This first one is awesome. I love this. It is a vintage handmade house coat um, from the 60s or 70s mod floral robe. One of a kind. Fancy. Check it out. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of fancy. Would you wear it? Let me know in the comments. Say I would wear the robe or no way I would not wear the robe. I'm going to be watching for your comments. All right. I would not wear the robe. She bought this for $2.49 and took a best offer of $65 on that one. I would sell it for $65. Love those margins. Okay, this vintage uh, pink acrylic fleece waffle weave crib blanket. If you guys don't know, these crib blankets can sell for big money. Um, one in particular is Baby Morgan. She thinks this might be a Baby Morgan and maybe the tag was cut off, which could have happened. I'm... I'm not super familiar with what the baby Morgans look like to tell you for sure. I just know that they typically have a tag and they have a satin trim and they are definitely a big money bolo. She got this at a yard sale for $1 and sold it for a best offer of 50. The next item is this Lily Pulitzer dress that she sold over on Poshmark. And one thing to know about this is the straps were altered and it still sold. Um, they were shortened. And she sold this for $40 and she picked this up for $6. The next item is from Antiques from Karen Janet. And she is the gal that inherited her mother's hoard is what she calls it. Um, but really, it's just amazing inventory um, that her mother had, I believe, a shop or something like that and just collected tons and tons of stuff. And it's amazing, amazing stuff. And she sells this stuff over on her YouTube channel. So definitely check it out. It looks like she's uh, got something going on over here. I haven't seen that. So, all right, let's see what she sold. She sold this Delcy luggage bag. And this was from the estate. And she ended up selling this for $189.99 plus shipping. So it's a carry-on luggage bag. D-E-L-S-E-Y is how you spell it. So I'm guessing that's probably kind of a high-end brand if it's um, just a 21-inch. So very cool. The next item she sold is this Mattel 1991 uh, Mermaid Barbie Rainbow Hair Changes Color. She got this again from her mother's estate and she sold it for a best offer. And I'm not sure what the best offer was. I apologize. And definitely some of those pink box Barbies can be a bolo. A lot of them are bread and butter, but definitely check that barcode. This one here sold on Facebook Marketplace. It is a vintage slag glass tulip hanging lamp. And she put a video right here at the beginning, which um, I'll show you is a really great idea. This is actually her first, th the first thing you see when you open the listing. So she's showing the item and she's got a really uh, good description over there. And she ended up selling this on Facebook marketplace for $75. And this also came from her mother's estate. The next item comes from Anytime Picker, and this is his YouTube channel. Go and check him out. All kinds of content over there. And he is a bolo finder as well. So he is uh, 
creeping up on 600 subs. So let's help get him to 600. All right. He sold this Forever Collectibles Cleveland Cavaliers um, Big Head Bobblehead. Got it at the Goodwill for $2.29. And he sold this for $99. That's what the bottom looks like. Bobbleheads can be big money for sure. Definitely look them up. Sony CDPCE 500, five disc CD changer. He got this. Are you ready? At a garage sale for $20. And he sold it for $399 plus shipping. How fantastic is that? That's a huge bolo. This Charlie Bears, he uh, picked up at a Goodwill for $2.29 and he sold it for $49.99. And it's designed by Isabella uh, or Isabel Lee. Never heard of that. So let's look at the tag here. Exclusively designed. Hmm. Never heard of that brand. So definitely something to look for. The next item comes from Where Pigs Fly Farm. And they are a nonprofit where they have, um, they, have animals, farm animals, and it's like a petting zoo type, not petting zoo, but like a petting farm and, but it's all nonprofit and they take care of all these animals. Definitely go check out their channel. They've got information over there on that as well. I also did a video where I featured her bolos and I talk about it more. So you can also check that out on my channel, but they do eBay to help provide um, money to, uh, for the nonprofit. So let's talk about her bolos. These are Holly Garland Bell Set. And these are really, really cool, fun little item. And they're by Yule Glow. And she got these at a live auction, paid $5 and sold them for a hundred. The next item is this deer head. Now I will say that taxidermy, I think maybe it depends on the animal. I think there's rules for taxidermy. Maybe certain states have different rules. Not 100% sure. I just feel like I remember hearing that a while back. If anybody knows, feel free to drop that in the comments. I can't remember all the details. Um, it might be certain animals, but this is a deer head. A friend donated it to her and she sold it on uh, eBay for a best offer of $120 plus shipping. And these are uh, coffee mugs, and I'm not going to read them. You can see them. And she got these live auction for $1 and sold them for $50. All right, this one comes from Yard Sales and Dreams, also another awesome YouTube channel. And she is definitely a bolo finder as well. Let's see what she's got for us. She has this one. I love this one. It's not super big money, but it's from the 1990s. And a good keyword is Y2K to put in the title. I guess there's clothing that they call Y2K. And this is a vintage uh, floral sunflower um, overalls. It's a jumper by Express. So it's not even like a fancy brand. It's a mall brand. It's Express right here. You see the vintage tag. Um, look familiar to anyone? It might. She got this at a yard sale for 50 cents and sold it for $34 plus shipping. The next item is this Sony... It's a VHS video cassette recorder with no remote. She got this at a yard sale for $5 and took a best offer of $50 plus shipping. This is a Pampered Chef tool turnabout, uh, item number 2170. And she it's retired. It's a um, craft caddy. She got this at a thrift store for 12 bucks and sold it for 65 plus shipping. The next item comes from Gigi's Goldmine, another really cool eBay store. No YouTube channel. Links are down below if you want to check out the store. Look at that. That's fancy and cool. Looks like they've got some junk drawer lots if anybody crafts. So go ahead and give them a follow. You can follow any eBay store by clicking the heart. That will let you follow them and you'll get alerts when they post new um, items to their store. These are Gorham chantilly sterling silver teaspoons no monogram lot of two and they've sold two lots so far and have two left and they paid 50 cents a piece for these and sold them for 32 dollars plus shipping that is great 50 cents each wow the house of the dead overkill nintendo wii game here is another one that you might just be able to find at a thrift store or a garage sale and they just might not know it has value uh this one he got at a church sale for a quarter and sold it for a best offer of $32. The next item comes from Mutton Ridge Finds. Get ready to have your mind 
just boggled by this one. Unbelievable sale. Oh, look at those. Those are cool. All right. Are you ready? All right. So she got these on Facebook Marketplace. She paid $100 for six pieces. And I think there were also some figures that she's selling um, individually. She sold this purple one, which is Aladdin and Jasmine, and they're uh, music boxes by Disney. And she sold this one, which is Ariel, the Little Mermaid, four eighty-five each to the same buyer. Both of these, so all in for whatever four eighty-five plus four eighty-five plus tax and shipping. Just crazy, over a thousand dollars. Amazing sale, amazing find, and um, good for her. I'm super excited for her about this. And she has one more that's listed. It's yellow. Uh, the buyer didn't pay. And she relisted it. And I, I'm guessing it's probably going to sell pretty quick. These Crocs. This is another great bolo. If you don't know about these, these are the sport boat lace-up ones. And these are a bolo. These are a men's size 8. She got these at her honey hole for $2. And she sold them for $89.99 plus shipping. The next item is this Estee Lauder Resilience Elastin. Elastin lotion refirming. I'm guessing it's like a face cream or a firming cream for your face. She got this at um, an estate sale for $1. And she ended up taking a best offer of $75 on this one. All right. A little bluebird is next. All right. Let's see what she's got for us. Here is her eBay store. No YouTube channel. She did put some content content out a while back, but hasn't done anything lately. I will keep you guys posted if she decides to do content again, but again, really fun store. She's also over on Mercari and let's see what she's got for us. She sold this vintage O'Farrell cowboy hat, Dung wait, Durango. I almost said Dungaroo. Durango women's custom made hat and it's a size small. Check that out. That is some fancy stuff right there. Uh, she got this for five cents in a bulk buy, and it sold for $101.64. The next item is this. I love this. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Excuse me. It's a 1999 Rugrats Viacom Nickelodeon overalls shirt set. New with tags. Adorable. She got it at a thrift store for $4.95 and sold it for $44.94. The next item comes from Vichy. I had to remember how to say it. And she does not have an eBay store, but I did provide a link down below that will take you into her store, into a listed uh, list of items like this. And you can check out the, whoa, that's freaky, um, her other items. All right. So what did she sell? She sold this vintage Halloween tin um, lithograph noisemaker. And this is not the one that I originally pulled up, but it expired before I made the video. So I wanted to grab something from her store. So I don't know where she got it or what she paid for it, but I wanted you guys to know that these noisemakers can definitely be a nice bread and butter and can go pretty high. Um, I probably would have auctioned this, but um, she did end up selling it for $28.95 plus shipping. So vintage Halloween, definitely be on the lookout. These red polka dot 1960s frosted glass Tom Collins vintage tumblers. She got these for $5 at an estate sale and sold them for $48.50 plus shipping. This is a Nancy Pelosi real life action figure. Is that a mask? I think that is a mask. She got this out of a dumpster for free and it sold for $49.50. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, and the buyer paid shipping. The next one comes from Lombardi Limited. And he does a lot of ephemera, postcards, hats, different uh, vintage items. Really, really cool store. And a My Little Pony, Build-A-Bear. So um, let's see what he sold this for this video. He sold this Dallas, Texas, St. Joseph's Church Academy. Uh, it's a postcard. And you can see the back here. And he got this in a bulk lot of postcards. So he had pennies in this and he sold it for full asking price of $34.95 free shipping. The next item is this postcard. It's an old world Santa postcard. He ended up taking a best offer of $58. I'm guessing he probably could have held out for more, but sometimes, you know, when you have an offer, 
you just take it. It looks like it's got maybe a little bit of condition issues and it is, it is marked, but, uh, $58. Nice, nice find. And that was also from that big lot of postcards he purchased. This one is a vintage 2000 LeBron James Miami Heat Majestic tie-dye t-shirt, extra large. And he actually did the bleaching and tie-dye effect on his own. And he ended up selling this for $52.95 on best offer. And I'm not sure where he got it. The next one comes from the Funky Pickle Thrifter. And she has an awesome YouTube channel. Go check her out. She knows so much about jewelry, but she is also a vintage um, bolo finder. She finds amazing stuff. The stuff she picks up at garage sales and how cheap she gets stuff, it's fantastic. So definitely sub her up. This vintage infant of Prague statue, um, she got this at a thrift store for $5 and sold it for $99.99 plus shipping. And this vintage silver aluminum Christmas tree, uh, 45 branches sparkler, four foot, four point, four foot, four inches tall. Sorry, guys. Uh, thrift store, three bucks and sold it for $114.99. That's just a little guy. And the next one is this OOP public access Ricky Powell photographs. Uh, it's a book. And she said that um, she saw this at a thrift store and it looked special and she checked the barcode and it was. So she paid $10 for this at a thrift store and sold it for $249.99 plus shipping. Wow. All right. The next one comes from Auctions for You. This is her YouTube channel and she wholesales items out to um, her viewers on YouTube, YouTube. So she has selling events. And her and Donatella Bottolino do this together. They will both be linked down below. But uh, definitely check out T Auctions for You on her YouTube. And she also has a Facebook group. But if you are looking for inventory, I have bought from her many times and highly recommend her. Uh, right. This Department 56 Snow Village. And Donna and T, they go out. Um, they live in two separate states. They became friends and do YouTube auctions together on each other's channels. So, um this is a snow village and they pick things up wholesale. They have go to estates, they buy storage units. They just buy cheap so that they can sell cheap so that we can make money. But this village, I'm not sure what she paid for it. It was probably a bulk buy, but she ended up selling it for $45.99 plus shipping. This one came from a huge toy haul that she got. I can't remember if this was the storage unit or the, the store buyout, but this is a 1993 Dragon Strike board game with the VHS tape, new open box, sold for $124.99 plus shipping. And the next item is this Playmobil. Again, huge toy buyout she did. This one sold for $159.99 plus shipping. Some of the Playmobil, if you can get them sealed, it's just like Legos and, um, oh, what's the other one? Mega blocks. If they're sealed, new old stock, somebody's going to want them. There's collectors out there if they're vintage. That one's 1998. So definitely be on the lookout for those um, items, old toys, um, sealed, new old stock. If it's cheap, grab it and go because it's at least going to be a bread and butter and you're going to make some money. But sometimes there are some big money bolos out there. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you'd like to be in a featured members video like this, um, you can join memberships level two for the perks. My channel is completely free. Memberships are for perks. There is a join button that you should be able to see. If you can't see it, I've got it linked down in the description of the video. No pressure to join. It's just if you're interested. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for watching. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here. There's going to be a subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe. Hit that bell. That way you get notifications when I post new videos. Thank you so much for being here and thanks for watching.